Okay, hello. For this tutorial, I'm gonna give you some uh, small showcase on how you could, in um, on a Joomla page, put some PDF documents from another site or from your own site and uh, sh show them on your page or even multiple documents in the same page and how it, you, you can do this in a quite easy way. For this, I, I love to use uh, two really handy plugins. So. First one uh, I'm going to fetch from the no number site. No number, I, I'm quite sure you, you all know this site. Uh, Peter Van Westen has some really fantastic plugins. Um, but for, for this uh, showcase, I'm gonna use the tabs plugin. You could also use the sliders or even uh, eventually maybe even the, the, the modal plugin. But I'm just going to use the, 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 the tabs for now because I like these tabs. Um, as for the... Mm, Google Docs integration, so I'm going to use um, Google Docs as my uh, PDF viewer. Uh, this great guy here from Finland, sorry Peteri, I hope I'm not going to uh, abuse your name, Peteri Kivimaki, or I actually prefer Dinky Jackson. Uh, Dinky, uh, thanks for writing this great plugin. Uh, I'm gonna use it, I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate it today because I'm really happy with it. You can download it from his uh, GitHub page, or you can find it if you look for embed Google Docs on Google uh, on Joomla uh, extensions page, of course. Um, I'm gonna showcase it on my uh, on my blog, and I'm going to use the documents from, the, from LibreOffice and put them all on one page. So I'm going to ma make a tab with getting started. I'm gonna put writer on there, uh, impress, base and calc 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 where are you math uh, no calc calc here you are okay uh, because i think those are the most common but you, you can add uh, more if you want so i already made a page it's just an empty page and i'm gonna uh, populate it now first things first i'm gonna publish it didn't save it yet and i'm gonna add some tabs uh, i'm I'm using JCE, I customize it a little bit, but that's not really relevant for now. So I'm gonna add some tabs. These buttons just appear if you install the no number. Uh, it's getting started. And that's the 4.2, I guess. Oh, it's, it's getting started 4.2. I'm gonna add um, writer, that's 4.22, I think. Rider is 4.2, uh, calc is 4.1, uh, impress is 4.2, and base is 4.0 base is quite a big one to to rewrite of course 4.0 okay and this one is open by default you could see it by the star here uh, not gonna customize all these uh, insert and you see it's actually just really simple you tap title tap title and it creates the tabs and just shut it down with slash tabs um, now we're gonna replace these the content. So let's just save it for now and see what we have. Okay. Just open the page itself. So you you see just you already have the tabs here. This is really easy. But it's always the same text, so it's not very useful yet. We're gonna uh, use uh, Dinky's uh, great plugin. But let's. For, but first, I already installed it, so uh, this is not part of the, of, of the configure of the of the showcase. But I am going to show you uh, how you how you can tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to look for embed Google. Okay, my bad. Google embed. Okay, you could add a base URL, for example, if all the documents you're showing 
exist on your own site in some subfolder you could just add here my site.com slash document folder and then you, you don't have to add this complete url to your all your documents you could uh, put a link to the pdf viewer underneath your in in in, uh, in page viewer i don't do this because the doc the google viewer also already has this the link for it the google docs mode uh, didn't play with this yet. I just leave it on on, uh, on default. Uh, here is something uh, I like to tweak. My heights, I tend to put in a fixed number in pixels. Here I put 500 pixels. And for the width, I like to use a, a bigger width. So I put in 95%. If you just put in uh, digits without as a, a more detail specification, it will just use pixels by default, I think. A border border style border color you can customize this to your own flavor and the google docs viewer options allows you to to select the, the language you're using in your um, google google docs viewer so uh, i just put on system language this way all the people get their def their own language and um, that's that let's go back to our content so now let's edit this one have a look at the the features how it works the syntax you see you could just uh, you just copy it from here you could customize some some st some stuff on on the uh, on the on, on the text line but i'm just going to put the default setting in there so uh Petri, Petri or Dinky, uh, this is maybe a tip for you to uh, some addition. Maybe you could just add a great button that people could just click on, like no number stuff, allowing you to have the features on a button basis. But for now, for now, I'm just going to copy your, your your syntax because it is really easy. So I mean, this is just something for lazy people like me. Um, but I, I guess most people are just perfectly capable of typing this stuff. Uh, remove the link. I already tried to see if uh, Google Docs can also view uh, ODT documents, but it doesn't handle these very well. I didn't uh, check on uh, I didn't check on Word documents. I'm not really interested in, in those either. For now, I'm just going to Okay, now copy links. Two minutes. For now, I'm just going to copy links here, and I'm um, going to paste them in uh, my my page. Which which one did I? Uh, I now I want calc. And you see, just pasting it inside is really easy. Oops, I removed a. Tilde. Okay, remove the hyperlink. And like this, you can just go on and on and on, save and close. And if you now watch the document, it's the rest is getting boring, so I, I won't repeat it for every page. If you if you watch it now, you'll see a um, a link on every page for from the from the PDFs on your page. You can just view them on your site. It's really easy, as you see. You could just do it like this. Okay, I put in the wrong link, but you're getting the picture. I won't uh, bore you with all these links and put them in, putting them in manually. Just uh, you'll you understand the picture. Okay, have fun with it. Goodbye.